Okay, welcome back to the You Heard Show. I'm here with Chris and Mr. Tober, and we're gonna they're gonna show some demonstrations of their styles and uh, what makes them so different. And uh, who wants to start first, you, Chris or so first? Yeah, um, I'll show you a couple things from standing. All right. um, Chris is about to kill me. Yeah, jujitsu. <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu relies primarily on the use of the human anatomy to figure out how to off-balance it. So, um, off a wrist grab, this is a really basic attack. This is for safety and simplicity. Um, what we do a lot of is manipulation of the human body as such. He's got a lot of you know, change in his upper body. His torso is tipped over. I mean, I put pressure on the back of the hand and he'll have to fall over, otherwise it'll break his wrist. Um, a similar motion, yeah, I grab this one. Um, this, this is a, another interesting example of how the human body can be messed with. You can come underneath here and bring this close and tight to your body, make a turning motion that locks this hand out. You can also pull that down for an arm bar. You can see how the bones are used to lock up the body and give me a certain measure of control. Once you have a person you know, bent over like this, it's not too hard to figure out what it is that you need to do. Um, so like that's that's mostly what we do for stand-up stuff. That stuff builds into larger throws where I'll actually pick them up and toss them on the ground. Um, but that's a bit more advanced than that sort of thing. And you don't do it that slow. You got to do it quick because like if you get into a fight with Jamaican and they do the little kick punch thingy, then yeah, you'll be in trouble. Yep. So we demonstrate <laughs> slowly for safety, but yeah, we we train at a little higher speed and a little higher intensity. All right. And so, uh, you have any more? Techniques. Um, for standing, not so much. Uh, we might go to the ground, and I'll show you a couple of the things that we do from the ground. On my hands and knees, or yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So, I'll be handing your hands and knees right there. All right. Okay. Um, this is going to be presuming that uh, we've done something to make him fall over. There's a myriad ways you can do that. You know, kick him in the leg, various ways to manipulate the body. But from this position, I want to make sure that he's not going to be fighting with me anymore. So I need to either get him onto his stomach or put him in a position where he can't fight back. Um, we like to attack the neck. If you can attack someone's neck, there's not a whole lot that they can do to fight back. So we'll start hooking underneath, grab tight, and I'll drag him and sit him down. From this position, I can push down on his spine, and there's not a lot of, where, and there's not a lot of any places he can go. And I'll just tighten this down, and I'll choke. And then you'll go straight to jail. But no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually that's actually entirely correct. Um, so like, don't do that stuff unless somebody pulls a gun on you, right? Yeah, or, like the, the, the a discretion <laughs> is taught in our classes, and that you, you're not taught these things without being told. You know, this okay, is a yeah. life or death situation. Okay. Jujitsu is not for points. It's not for pride. It's not because you're drunk and angry. It's because you're going to die if you don't. Okay. So it's not really a street fighting. Or it's, or it's like doing a street fighting for basic, yeah, real street fighting. Okay. And uh, Tobert, the wrestling master, how, like, what kind of things would you do if I was on my stomach? If you were on your stomach, yeah, uh, yeah. generally in wrestling, you try to, uh, from your stomach, turn them over to your back. So I can show you an example of a, a chicken wing as well as a double chicken wing. Okay. Also called a, a double arm bar. So you get on the ground. All right. Yeah. And generally, oh, you, well, generally you start off with a breakdown. That's how you generally start off. I want to just uh, kick his uh, arms out, like as if it was a table. Take one of the legs out and then put pressure on this side, basically pulling his hip. He'll fall down to the ground like that. And then I'll show the chicken wing. Just back a little bit. Basically, uh, once I get on top of him, I want to just like grab an arm, like coming underneath. Then once his arm is up, hook, and I grab an arm bar. This looks like a rape scene right here. <laughs> so, so you might want to watch out for that. Man. Don't do this in jail. <laughs> and he's still on top of me, man. This ain't wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So generally, I keep up our um, fist right in the back of his uh, shoulder blades. And then I'll hook his other arm, I'll jump across. And what I want to do is uh, take his shoulder and put it in his ear. 
Now walk around like a uh, counterclockwise type of motion and keeping this uh, bring his arm in and keep it real tight to his body so he can't post out and stop my um motion. I keep his arm locked up also. I walk around and his body should uh, be bent up in an arch motion. That's all you know. Move. And I'll, I'll sit right here, sit for like a three to five count, and then once he's on his back, I can adjust to um, for the pin because both his shoulder blades are not touching the ground right now. So I'll just do that by just scooping his head up, picking him down, and suck it down. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you finish the move. Up. So don't drop the sofa <laughs> or Kevin Tober will get you because <laughs> he knows how to keep you down. All right, uh, <laughs> all right, Chris, I think he also has a technique for on your back. Yeah. You shot the stomach. He shot the stomach one. Yeah. So now we have one for the back. Now, like, uh, one of the interesting things is in differences, you know, let's put it down. Um, there you go. Uh, one of the differences between jiu-jitsu and wrestling is that I, I, <laughs> just manhandling me. I, I, I like you being on your stomach because when you're on your stomach, you don't have any feet or hands to punch me in the head with or kick me with. Right. But um, so because of that fact, I'm gonna stay close, really low to the ground. And I'm gonna try to immobilize one of your arms because these are probably gonna be punching at me. Okay. I'm gonna grab, post this arm out, hook underneath, elevate the elbow and then ride that down towards his hips. That'll rip your rotator cuff out. Um, we don't really fight for pinning, like I said. Uh, if, if this is ripped out, I don't think you're gonna be fighting much. Right. That's, kind of our, that's kind of our point. It's, it's, it's a big contrast between fighting for sport and fighting for your life. Okay. So. All right. Any questions about it? Uh, no, I don't have any questions, but don't fight anybody with a gun because somebody like me, I don't fight. I, I'll just put something shoot out on you guys super quick. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Bullets suck. Yeah. yeah. So, um, okay, uh, we're about to go to commercial, so I'll get back to you in a few seconds.